guys, welcome to another day with Jesus. The word of God is like a fresh spring that can direct your day and your life. Each day comes with new mercies and a new word. So here's a new word for you today. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. This is a brand new amazing Jesus filled week that we are about to start. And even as we are about to start this week, it is necessary that we learn to reprioritize the things that we want, the things that we need in life, uh, the things that we are called for, the things that we are destined for, the things that we are ordained and anointed for. You know, there are several things in life which may not necessarily be, uh, you know, greatly valuable. And yet, they might be the thing that God has ordained for us. There may be several things in life that may be more tempting uh, and more alluring and more uh, easy to achieve. And, and yet, there may be stuff that God may not have ordained for us. There may be stuff that God may not have specifically directed in our lives. Let me give you a particular example. First Kings chapter 21 and verse 3. The Bible says, But Naboth replied, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance that was passed down by my ancestors. We all know the story. This is uh, King Ahab going to his neighbor Naboth and asking him to sell his vineyard to, to King Ahab and uh, so that King Ahab can use it as a vegetable garden. And, and you should understand this. You uh, are not expected to give it away free, of course. Of course, if a king is asking, he's going to pay in a royal measure. He's not going to just... You know, come and take the thing away and, uh, and you know, leave you hanging. In fact, doing business with the king can be so profitable, plus it can be so beneficial and it can be so helpful that, uh, you know, to, to, your, to centuries later, your generations will continue to be in the good books of the royal family. You know, you, you see this with the, uh, the, the threshing floor that, you know, David purchased from another man in in the previous books. You know, the Bible says that the 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 Solomon's temple was built on that same place. That's how valuable that place became. You know, and uh, doing business with kings is always profitable. It is always uh, something that will bring you great reward. And yet, this was Naboth's revelation. This was Naboth's perspective. He said, wait, 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 wait. I would, I know for a fact that this is going to be profitable. I know for a fact that this is going to help me uh, take care of my family and take care of my generations. And I also know that what I'm getting out of uh, this vineyard is not as great or it's not that much. And yet, this is the only challenge that I have in giving away is the fact that this vineyard is an inheritance that I have gotten from my fathers. And because it's an inheritance, I cannot give it away. See, if it was a property that I had purchased from somebody, and I, I wanna, I'm looking for a bigger amount to sell it for, then I don't mind giving it away, then I don't mind doing business with it. And yet, because it is an inheritance that has come to me from my fathers, this is not up for sale. This is not up for business. This is not about making money. This is not about how good I look and how greatly I will be, uh, uh, you know, uh, profited or blessed or, you know, uh, how much I can enjoy this. It's, it's about the fact that I have this as an inheritance from my ancestors, from my fathers, and, and for nothing, for no money that you can give me in the whole world, am I going to let this off. I wish that so many of the sons and daughters today understands the same principle, understands the same, uh, you know, same value that you know, God places, God gives to inheritance. You should understand. See, if you 
are a child of God, you have an inheritance in Christ Jesus. You have an inheritance through your spiritual father uh, that God has placed over your life. And so often, so often, like Esau, we give away our inheritance. We give away our birthright for a morsel of meat. You know, the enemy sometimes can, can, uh, convinces us to, uh, you know, give away everything that our fathers have, uh, you know, worked hard for. Our fathers have, you know, accumulated in their life to, to bless you with just for a small morsel of meat. How, so, how serious do you take your father's blessings, you know? Are you willing to compromise it for a, a better promotion in job? Are you willing to compromise it for a man that you want to get married to? Are you willing to compromise it for a, a, a different city or a different state that you want to get a job in? Are you willing to compromise it for whatever reason? If you are, then what you're doing is you're giving away your inheritance to make more money. You're giving away your inheritance for the sake of a better ministry or a more famous outcome in your in your ministry and may God give you this revelation this morning that nothing that that the Lord has released into your life let it be you know through promises in the scripture those are spiritual inheritances or uh, it may be through your spiritual parents that God has been that God has placed over you that God has been intending to bless you May you remain in alignment with your father so that never in your whole lifetime the enemy will be able to steal your birthright, your, your uh, you know, your inheritance. If Naboth, let, listen to me, if King Ahab needs to get the vineyard, he needs to kill you. Other than that, there is no way that he will get what your father has blessed you with because you're not going to trade it for money. You're not going to trade it for comfort. You're not going to trade it for pleasures. You're not going to trade it for anything that the world has to offer. You know, so often the world will, you know, tempt you with the, with the lust of the eyes, with the lust for life, with, with the pride of life. And, and you have to learn to you know, turn your eyes and keep it on Jesus. Turn your eyes and keep it on more eternal blessings and more uh, long-lasting blessings than a temporary blessing. You know, King Ahab, he forcefully got this, you know, and, and yet, you know, he couldn't keep it because it, this, this was not something that belonged to him. It belonged to another man because it, it the inheritance has a way of going back to the rightful owner. If you follow the principles. And if you do not follow the principles like Esau did, how when he sold it off, uh, you know, Jacob could happily live with it. And, and that is the challenge. If you will give it away, then it will never come to you, no matter how hard you try. So may I encourage you to keep your eyes on Jesus and disconnect from every distractions that is trying to steal your inheritance today. May God bless you. I also speak a special blessing over all my sons and daughters that are listening to this podcast this morning. May the Lord bless you with a double portion of everything that I carry. May the Lord bless you with a double portion of of my walk with God, of my, uh, uh, of what I have been receiving from my fathers. May the Lord bless you with a double portion of that in this season, in this week. God is releasing something fresh. Be a receptive, be a, 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 a grateful receiver and, and don't trade it for anything or anybody else. Have an amazing week ahead. We hope you were blessed by the word this morning. If you have a prayer request or need counsel, please contact us at pastorprigi.com.